the moment when you realize the old Batman killed the new Joker. <laughs> hey, how's it going? My name's Whackjob, and no, I am not Stabby. I'm a good friend of his, and this is my weapon, the Mad Twanner. You know why? Because I twat people on the head. <laughs> so, yes, welcome to Random Horror, and this is... The review show where I, whack job, review psychological horror movies. Or psychological thrillers. Let's get the camera fucking angle right. And I will whack you over this with my twitter if you ever cross me. Look at him. He's happy to see you. Okay. So, today I review... In this episode, American Psycho, starring Christian Bale and directed by Mary Heron, with Reese Witherspoon and Jared Leto and many other actors in this psychological movie based on a novel of the same name. <laughs> Sorry, I'm more insane. Did I mention to you that I'm a friend of Stabby the Clowns? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, like I was saying, the film is based on an old by Eston Ellis. I know, I can't fucking pronounce it. Anyway, the, episode, the film it stars Christian Bale as Patrick Bateman. And of course, he is a banker in New York. Little do we know that he likes to dissect women. And that he's utterly insane. Anyhow, yes, that's what he likes to do in his spare time. He's a real freak and he likes to axe people. Anyway, the things I liked about this movie is its originality. Well, not quite its originality. It was showing mo it was had like Patrick Bigman talking about his whole life throughout the movie. And also, he killed out of the fucking thrill. You know? I like the act scene when he kills Jared Leto. It's like my realization is like when the moment you knew the moment when you realized the old Batman killed the new Joker. So what else happens in this movie? Well, he's a deranged lunatic. He kills just simply for the thrill of it. Yeah, he's a psycho like me. But he's a more creative psycho in the way he kills people. There's another bit where I like where he chases a prostitute with a chainsaw after he kills one of them. But anyway, he also wears his iconic raincoat. You see, in this movie, Patrick Bateman is a guy, and I don't think he knows his purpose in life. All I know is that he is a deranged and psychotic man, and at one point in the movie, confesses to his lawyer. Anyway, as I was telling you, he um, loves to kill and likes to play in his music. Even do stomach crunches to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> the movie, however, it was, there were parts in it where I thought, Oh, is he gonna get him? Is he gonna kill him? Oh, is he gonna get away with it? And he did. Quite a lot of times. Even his lawyer turned a blind eye on the whole dilemma because of what he knew he was doing. Anyhow... The movie was okay. That it was great. It's a success. I think it became a cult hit. Either way, the movie spawned a sequel, which was direct to, de direct to video, where well, we had VHS at the time, direct to that. 
Also, it had Mila Kunis and uh, William Shatner in him. Christian Bale didn't reprise his role as Patrick Bateman, even though he was referenced in the opening scene of the movie. Anyhow, with that being said, I'm going to give American Psycho four axed up Jared Leto's on the floor out of five. That's been my review on American Psycho. I have been your host, Whack Job, and you've been watching Whack Job's psychological horror movies. So until then, you better subscribe. Follow Random Ross on you on Facebook and Twitter. And if you want to see more from me and more horror stuff, simply subscribe to this channel. It's here for the whole month. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, till then I bid you a goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>